Hello everyone. Uh, myself Kushbu Sodi. So uh, after uh, PTP and client servers architecture, which I have studied in my previous lecture, today we're going to see about model interprocess communication, as you can see in this your diagram in your in this on the slides. Okay. So what is a uh, model interface communication? So this also comes in the part of cloud computing only. This is the part of the cloud computing. That is concept also, or you can see in this cloud computing point only, this is the. So uh, in diagram, you can see uh, processor A, then share memory, uh, processor B, kernel. You know very well, the kernel is nothing but it is a it is a heart of the operating system. If you have studied operating system in second year only, right? So no need to explain in detail about kernel. So in short, uh, keep in mind that it is a heart of or brain of the OS. Okay, OS, you know very well, without OS, you can't, uh, you cannot run any device, right? Is it? So model interface, a model of Interprocess communication, as you can see in your diagram, two diagram is given. Here uh, it's deal with the shared memory and message passing. This is the two parts you can see here. Okay. So there are two fundamental models of interprocess communication. So these are these both are the fundamental model of uh, what you can say interprocess communication. So in interprocess communication, as you can see in this diagram, there are two fundamental uh, fundamental models for interprocess inter communication: shared memory and uh, message passing. So, shared memory in this shared memory or uh, regions of memory. Uh, okay, so shared memory that uh, is a shared by cooperating uh, process is uh, established. Then, message passing in this. Communication takes place by means of a uh, message exchange, uh, exchange between uh, cooperating process. Okay, so communication takes place by make or uh, make a message. Okay, so what are the mod two models of interprocess communications here? Okay, facilities. So process can of two types: uh, inter in independent process or cooperating process. So what is in inter interprocess? Okay, so interprocess communications mentioned by the models to communication. Okay, so here interprocess communication is the uh, mechanism provided by operating system. Okay, it provides the mechanism of operating system provided by operating system that allow processor to communication with each other. This communication cloud, okay, this communication could involve process letting another process known the sum event as octal or transforming uh, of data from one process to another process. So in this, the data can transfer from one process to another process. So what are the different types of inter-process communication? Uh, so any two details like pipe, you can say, is a widely uh, Okay, so pipe is a widely used for communication between two relate process. Uh, message uh, passing passing is a mechanism for process to communication and synchronization. Synchronization means you know very well you know uh, synchronization and or synchronization right. So here synchronization are deep in this communication. A message uh, queue is a linked list of message stored within the kernel, which is the OA, which is comes under the OS, direct process in type of interprocess. So communication process should name each other exp uh, explicitly, which are two fundamental models of interprocess uh, communication. And, okay. So delete message and receive message, send message and receive message. The right message and delete messages. These are the fundamental of communications uh, interprocess. Delete it, receive it, write it, and read it. So which are the two fundamental models of interprocess communication? So share memory, message passing, independence, and cooperating. So these are the 
fundamental models interfaces communication share memory message passing uh, you can say the message passing share memories and independent and cooperating these are comes these are the uh, interprocess model fundamental models which comes under the interprocess communications what are the advantages of interprocess communication so advantages of communications uh, interprocess communications use of memory for communication limit uh, remote procedure for rpc mm, communication on the local machine only user with access to the shared memory can view the calls the operating system provided authentication in absence of dce security what is the interprocess communication and cooperative process cooperative process need an interprocess communication ipc mechanism so ipc so that will allow Uh, them to exchange data and information. So IPC allowed to exchange data and information. The two basic uh, models of inter-process communications uh, are there: free shared memory and message passing. So these are the two basic uh, basic models of inter-process communication. That is shared memory and message passing. So um, process can be uh, can they exchange their information by reading. and writing data to the shared regions okay so point to point message model here so in diagram you can see point to point message so this is the point to point okay so this is a point to point message uh, passing here procedure 1 up to n and consumer 1 up to n and here this all happen through the point to point queue only one consumer receive the message in the, this is the in short which i given through the diagram so let discuss it will be details uh, through the okay communications okay so point to point message model in point to point message uh, messaging the processor and consumer exchange messages by using destination which is called queue so with the help of queue which you can see here they can exchange the messages through this queue or you can say this is the intermediate uh, middle way uh, middle way to through this both can the exchange consumer and processor can exchange the message as you can see in this uh, diagram only right so in point to point messages a message messaging processor and consumer exchange the message by using the, uh, by using the queue which is called point to point queue so processor send message to the queue as you can see the diagram processor one uh, is goes uh, is sent to the first arrow to the you can see a processor one is sent to the first arrow to the queue then it will be provided by the consumer like this happen here as you can see in uh, this diagram only so processor send message to the queue and consumer receive messages from the from that queue one or many uh, processor can send messages to queue one or many consumer can access that queue so here uh, you, uh, one of matlab one to n number of messages can send to the queue and n number of messages uh, which can receive from the queue they can able to uh, re respond to the consumer or they can send back to the consumer so number of messages and number of response can ex accepted by the uh, consumer and number of messages sent by the processor and this all happen sending per this all happen through the Point to point queue. So these are able to accept number of messages. That is uh, here number n is given, and they are able to this point to point queue able to send number of uh, send back to the consumer number of messages only. Okay, so this is the messages are deal with the sending and uh, receiving is deal uh, 
with the help of point to point queue this is the short summary here it's, uh, you can see only one consumer received the message here okay so consumer receive messages from that queue matlab number of only one consumer matlab kya ye ek consume ek message receive karega second consume second message receive karega aise number of message one by one number of consumer receive karega aisa nahi ki ek consumer ye all messages receive karega as you can see in this diagram only one arrow goes to the सेकेंड एरो हियर ओनली ऐसा नहीं है कि एक एरो ही हमें तीन मैसेज का तीन एरो गिवन है वन बाय वन सो इसलिए यहाँ पे गिवन है ओनली वन कंज्यूमर रिसीव द मैसेज ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द पॉइंट टू पॉइंट मैसेजिंग मॉडल ओके सो सी हियर अगेन इन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट मैसेजिंग प्रोसीजर एंड कंज्यूमर आर एक्सचेंज मैसेज बाई यूजिंग डेस्टिनेशन विच इज कॉल्ड क्यू Uh, procedure send messages to the queue and uh, consumer can receive messages from the queue one or many processor can send messages to the queue one or many consumer can receive message that queue you can uh, consume that you can access that queue so point to point overview in this point to point model the product is called sender and consumer and uh, is a call receiver matlab processor is call sender and consumer is call receiver so in point to point message you can see that processor is call sender and consumer is call uh, receiver the most important characteristics of point to point uh, model as follow that is messages are exchanged so characteristic is first messages are exchange so this is the first uh, character you can say then second each message is delivered to the only uh, one receiver each message each message delivered to the is message delivered to the okay this message delivered to the uh, delivered to the only one receiver only one receiver so then the messages are ordered message are ordered okay then there is a no coupling of uh, procedure and consumer so there is no of there is no coupling of So this is the character. Okay, just one minute. So there is a no coupling of message and there is no coupling of processor to P to consumer P to C. मतलब processor to consumer. Okay. So this is are the advantage. Sorry, you know, characteristics of you are uh, P to P uh, point to point uh, overview. So here. Mm, you can see then you know very well now uh, here procedure work like a uh, sender and consumers works like uh, yeah act like uh, uh, what uh, you can say uh, receivers okay so here some advantage uh, some characteristics are given first is the uh, messages are uh, exchanged so in in this uh, this first uh, messages are exchanged through uh, virtual uh, channel Called uh, queue, so messages through the virtual channel can exchange. As you can see in this diagram, only messages can exchange through the virtual channel only, right? It's called the queue. Okay, so this is a, comes under the first characteristic. So queue is a uh, you can say destinations of uh, to which processor send messages uh, and um, uh, and source from which receive from the uh, consume. Okay. 
So here, what is a uh, message I exchange uh, through the virtual uh, channel called Q. A Q is a destination to which processors send messages and so a uh, send messages. Message and a source from the which you see you consume messages. So the messages are exchanged now. You uh, maybe after some time I will my how to exchange the messages through the queue only. So this is the first characteristics of the point to point messages models here. Now the second characteristic is each. This is the second one. Each um each um messages when we let me write. This is the third one. And this is the last one. It is a four. This is the masses exchange. Okay, so we have uh, so. अभी हम लोगों ने देखा masses are exchanged uh, through the queue only. Then let's uh, see the masses delivered to only um, one receivers. Okay, so this is the second characteristic uh, of you are in uh, so which comes under the point to point. This comes as a point-to-point -point overview. Okay, so here each uh, message is delivered to only one receiver. Uh, receiver multiple receivers may listen on queue, but each message in in the queue may only be consumed by one of the queue receivers. So messages are uh, so here what uh, in each message uh, delivered means like message delivered to only one receiver. So Only one receiver. Okay, so multiple receivers may listen on a queue. Multiple receivers may listen on a queue, but each message is. Uh, मतलब see here. Uh, what happened? This queue can listen the all messages. Okay, in a queue, but they can provide send the particular one by one to the particular consumer only. So here you have message delivered to only one receiver. भले ही queue multiple messages listen कर रही है, but वो only one by one. वन टू वन वन आफ्टर वन कंज्यूमर को ही वो पर्टिकुलर मैसेज सेंड करेंगे एट अ टाइम वो ऑल मैसेज कान सेंड टू पर्टिकुलर कंज्यूमर दिस इज अ You can say this is a क्या बोलते हैं इसको इसकी concept से okay one by one message only because here you know only only one consumer receive the message okay because um अगर at a time सारे messages क्यों है ये इतने से इतने से advantage है also because अगर एक queue और एक sender के many senders अगर एक consumer को message send करेंगे then it will be traffic will be happens or because of traffic uh consumer can uh, cannot access they cannot uh, take the All response, okay. Uh, so वो दिक्कत हो जाना है वहाँ पे इस वजह से particular message हर एक प्रोसीजर कैन सेंड पर्टिकुलर मैसेज टू द अनदर मतलब वन बाय वन मेनी कंज्यूमर्स सो वन बाय वन मैसेज कैन हैपन हेयर सो दिस इज द सेकेंड कैटेस्टिक्स ऑफ योर पी टू पी सॉरी पॉइंट टू पॉइंट पॉइंट टू पॉइंट मैसेज मॉडल्स ओके नाउ ठीक थर्ड वन इज द मैसेज हार ऑर्डर so this is your third advantages that is messages are ordered a queue delivers messages to consumers in the order they were placed placed in uh, the queue by the messages sir as messages are consumed okay they are removed from the uh, head of the queue okay unless messages priority is used there is a no coupling uh, of Procedure to consumer, uh, so receiver and senders can be added dynamically uh, at run time, allowing the system um, to the grow of shrinks in complexity over time. So this is all about the characteristic of your uh, point to point uh, message queue. Okay, point to point. Oh, message model. So this, ah, uh, this is, ah, uh, so here model interface, ah, uh, interprocess communication. We have seen shared memory and message passing. The work of shared memory, how to pass the message. You know, the if uh, shared memories can store the data and ah uh, through the message passing, it can be exchanged, it can be transferred to particular disk uh, destination. So this is all about comes in the mod model coming interface inter process communication. And then next we have study about the point to point. Message model. So in point to point message model, uh, we got it that uh, processor number of processor is are there in this. Okay, and the middleware is a point to point queue. Okay, so through this queue, any uh, they can exchange the message. Oh yeah, uh, you can say that sender can send the message through the receiver. So here, 
the sender's uh, roles play the processor play yeah work act like a sender and uh, receivers act like consumer act like a receiver so here condition is there that only one consumer receive the message because to the uh, means uh, you can say that uh, traffic se bach sakte hum here okay so then uh, we have study about the characteristic which is the deal here only this diagram see based based karta hai wo characteristic right how to we can exchange the message and deliver to only one receiver to avoid the traffic then messages are ordered okay the work process we have study and there is a coupling of the p to c processor to consumer after this let's discuss about publish and subscriber uh, subscribe message model here so what is the subscribe and publishing messages model so this is the diagram here you can see messages from publishers here message publisher and messages publishers then message subscriber public or publishers and subscribers are here you can see here topic a b messages oriented middleware so this is the middleware which is, it is a publish and it is a subscriber okay so let's discuss what is there here okay so my publish and subscriber messages model what is the uh, subscriber and publish message publish subscriber messaging or pub publish subscriber messaging is a form of asynchronous service to service the form of the asynchronous service to service communication used in services and microservices architecture in the publish uh, publish and subscriber model any message published to the topic is a intermediate receiver by all of the subscriber to the topic so any message can publish first of all here the topic and then it, uh, further it give uh, send to the subscriber so as you can see here first of all it publish to the topic only this message and then it go to the subscriber as you can see in your uh, diagram only in this diagram only okay so here how does publish subscriber pattern work in software architecture publish subscriber is a messaging pattern where sender of sender of message okay sender of messaging call publishers do not program the message to be the sent directly to specific uh, receiving call uh, subscriber but uh, is Instead, categories publish messages into class without knowledge of each of which subscriber, if any, there may be. Okay, what is a publish subscriber system? Distributed system. So here, what is a publish subscriber system? Distributed system. Publish subscriber system is a communications paradigm that allows freedom in distributed system by the by the decoupling of communications. Entire the terms of uh, space and synchronization. Event service system that is the asynchronous, asynchronous, and loosely coupled. So, what are the disadvantages of public subscriber patterns? So, let's see the advantages. Another drawback of the public subscriber uh, pattern is that it is difficult to uh, it is difficult to help of subscription subscription subscriber. the publishers does not have perfect knowledge of status of the system this name okay to messages for the instance uh, publish and subscribe is com commonly used for logging systems can a publish also be subscriber uh, answer if we want to transfer incoming messages and pass it further to the next subscriber we need to implement processor okay uh, interface this uh, this acts both as a subscriber uh, because uh, it receive message and uh, you can say as the publisher because it process those message uh, sends uh, them for further processing what are the request answer model request answer models in the request answer okay so in the request uh, request response model a client computer or software uh, request data or service and 
a server computer or software responds to the request by providing data or service the server responds by putting the data on the trunk and sending it back so what was the request and reply system from wikipedia okay from wikipedia the free uh, free uh, you can say uh, computer science request response or request reply is uh, one of the uh, basic method computer use to communicate with each other in network in which the first computer sends request from for the date some data and uh, the second car respond to the request so what are the basics request response model communication for http request response message model okay so what is the basic request response communication models uh, you can say that a uh, basic features http is a connection less the http client is a uh, browser initiate on http request and after request is made the client waits the response the server process the request and send response back after which client is connected the connections what is the request response cycle this request response cycle trace how to user request follow through the app understanding the request response cycle is helpful to figure on which files uh, to edit when developing an app and where to look the things uh, are working aren't working sorry so what is the function of request message the message that web client send request the file uh, from the web server called request message okay so here technology of distributed computing so here what we are saying request reply model no okay so in request reply model as we can say what is the functions of the request reply model in this you can see that uh, the uh, messages that uh, web uh, client sends the um, send to the request uh, a file uh, okay from the file or from the file and web server Uh, is called request message. Okay, so here uh, request queue and uh, reply queue there. So request and reply. So they, uh, this can happen through the HTTP also, which is the connection less uh, protocol. So now we we'll discuss about technologies distributed computing. So so technologies distributed distributed computing here. Uh, technology distributed computing in this what are the uh, technologies for distributed computing so technologies uh, for distributed computing the distributed object or uh, object approach the mobile object blackboard architecture and agent based software engineering so what are the major distributed computing technology in cloud computing so distributed computing virtualization service oriented and web 2.0 from the core technologies enabling the provisions uh, of the cloud service from anywhere of cloud service from anywhere on the global developing applications and system that uh, leverage the cloud require knowledge across all these uh, technologies so here service ori uh, uh, orientations and web 2.0 from the core technology uh, enabling the provisions of cloud service from anywhere on the global so what are the major distributed computing technology in cloud computing so let discuss the technologies uh, major distributed computing in cloud computing so distributed computing virtualization service orientations and web 2.0 from the core technologies is enabling the provision of cloud services from anywhere uh, on the global developing application and system uh, that uh, that you can say the cloud requires knowledge across all these technologies so what are the distributed computing model here so a distributed computing model in this you can say distributed computing model 
in which components uh, means uh, components of the software system are shared among the multiple computers. So uh, software shared among the multiple computers, even though the components are separate uh, out across the multiple computers. Okay, uh, so they are runs on uh, software. Okay, they are runs as a as one system. This is done in order of improve uh, efficiency and performance. Okay. So, what are the components of distributed computing? So, system component is in distributed system, primary system controller, uh, system data store, and database. So, remote. Uh, so, these are the, the components in distributed primary system control and system data store and database. So, RPC. So this is uh, the is uh, RPC remote processor core. RPC is uh, nothing but it is a remote. So RPC full form is a remote processor call. In this you can see the client, then request sent to the computing, then reply uh, to the uh, here client, then block here, then server block here. This let's discuss. Okay. So as you can see in this diagram, in this uh, on the screen, RPC remote processor call. So remote processor call is a software communication protocol that one program can use to request a service from a, from a program located okay so one program can use the here rpc is a software I mean, the remote procedure call is a uh, is a software communication protocol uh, okay that one program can use to uh, use to request service Okay, from program located in another computer. Okay, so a uh, program just a computer will lock it get and also it can call and it can use it. Okay, so on the network, so locate okay, another computer on a network. Okay, so without having to understand the network's details, RPC is used to call another process uh, to remove uh, the remote system like local system. So, what is RPC example? Other example uh, of RPC in ex experiment uh, that is include remote monitoring program control, remote uh, fast bus access, remote error logging, remote terminal interaction with processor. Okay, so submissions of the operational system uh, commands from embedded uh, interprocess and many uh, less general uh, function. So what is the RPC and how it works? So a remote processor call is an interprocess communication technique that is uh, used for the client server based application. So these techniques are used for a client server and this is a remote process communication technique. RPC is a remote process communication technique. Okay. So it is also known as a uh, subroutine, subroutine call or function call. RPC also called subroutine call and function call. A client has request message that the RPC translate this uh, translate and send to the server. The parameters are removed from uh, the message by the server stop. So what is RPC call? Remote processor call is a software communication protocol. One program can use and uh, can use to request service from program located in another okay so advantages of rpc uh, the internal uh, message passing mechanism for rpc is a hidden from the user the efforts to return uh, to rewrite and redevelop the code is minimum in the re remote processor call a remote processor call can be used in distributed environment as well as technological environment for this we require the network right so uh, here a remote processor call can be used in distributed environment as well as local environment 
So disadvantages of RPC is the remote procedure call is a concept that can be implemented in different way. It is not standard. There is a no flexibility in RPC on hardware architecture. It is only interaction based. Okay, interaction based. There is a uh, increase in cost uh, because of remote processor call. In this section, we discuss a few examples of application in which remote processor call has been used effectively. Okay, so uh, remote file access, uh, remote, remote files and database across was um, one one and earliest uh, use of RPC, right? So here's remote graphics, uh, remote software task management, and other examples. The following step take place during the RPC. Uh, a client involved the here, a client. Okay, a client involves the client step processor passing parameter in the usual way. The client step, uh, the client step marshaling, marshaling uh, what types the parameter into the message. The client step uh, passes message to the transport layer. We send it to remote server machines. So here the client uh, steps um, mess, uh, passes message to the transport layer. Okay, which is sent to the into the remote server machine. So this is the client server machine and remote server machine. So request and response are done here through the uh, transport layer. So this is, you can say the transport layer, okay? So this is about the remote processor uh, call, which is the, comes, it is a, comes in a cloud computing only. And as you can, so it is a types of um, techniques which are used to um, communication purpose only, okay? And so on there, then, Let's so uh, after RPC, we have study about technologies and distributed computing here. Then we have study about the request, uh, request reply message model. Okay, then publish and subscriber model. Then characteristics, uh, characteristics of point to point uh, message model. Okay, uh, then uh, model interprocess, uh, interprocess communication. So, this all about uh today's lectures. So this all comes in cloud computing only, right? Okay, so in next lecture, let's see the new points, uh, which comes only cloud computing. So uh, today's lectures over here. Thank you.